All right, the coasters are completely cured and we're ready to add our flood coat. I have got it mixed right here and it's just exactly the same resin we're using. I'm just making a completely clear coat and we're putting it over top of everything. And what that's gonna do is just gonna flatten everything out so we've got a smooth surface to be used as a coaster. Trying to put even amounts on each one of them. There we go. So spread it all the way to the edges. And I spread it a little bit down the sides to make sure that it's going down all of the sides evenly. And it's really easy to feel if it's going down the sides because your finger will um, run around it smoothly. You'll feel a little bit of traction if it's not, if the resin isn't going down that side. Now take the glove off and we're gonna use the heat gun on a low setting and remove all the bubbles. So the bubbles will continue to rise for the you know, first hour or so. So I'll go back every 10 minutes or so and do this exact same thing. I'll just watch it. I mean, if there's no bubbles on the surface, I don't need to do this. But if there is, I need to make sure that they're popped. Otherwise, it's gonna affect the finished look. And then because this is the last layer and I don't want to be putting any, I'm not gonna be putting anything else on, I'm taking a clear container and I'm just gonna protect it from the particles in the air. Still have to check it because sometimes something might have got, gotten caught underneath there. So there might still be things that come into the, the resin and it affects the surface. But by doing this, it helps to protect it a little bit better than just being an open air. And because the container is clear, I can look to the side and see the reflection of the light just to kind of check it a little bit before actually taking it off. So it's a great idea, especially on the last layers. If you're doing something that you're doing that you're gonna see all of the layers, you wanna do this for all of them. For this particular project, I only needed to do it for the last one because any of the previous layers are gonna be completely covered by this one. So we're gonna let this dry completely for 24 hours, cure completely for 24 hours, sorry, and then I'll see you tomorrow and we'll remove the resin drips that have accumulated on the back.